hello! It's been absolutely ages since I last did like a proper video um, but my pal Lindsay, she did the TMI tag the other day and tagged me in it so I thought I might as well have a go and um, there's about 50 questions in it um, I've got them all here um, so I shall just get started so I don't blabber on too much um, So the first question is what are you wearing and I'm wearing a onesie at the moment, um, I just went outside and when I, as soon as I came home I just put this back on because it's freezing and um, why not? Um, question two, ever been in love? Um, no, not really. Uh, question three, ever had a terrible breakup also related to that? No, not really. Um, question four, how tall are you? Um, I think I'm five foot four-ish, I don't really know, I've never really measured myself properly. Um, question five, how much do you weigh? Again, I don't really know, I don't have any scales in my flat, um, so I couldn't even guess, I don't really know. Six, any tattoos? No, I haven't got any tattoos. I have kind of thought of getting one, but I don't really know what I would get, so no. Um, question seven, any piercings? I've got my ears pierced, although I don't have any earrings in just now, but um, apart from that, that's everything. Um, question 8, OTP. Now, I actually had to go and Google this because I didn't know what it meant. Um, obviously that means I'm really old and sad, but um, apparently it means one true pairing, I think, um, from like a TV show or whatever. Um, I watch a lot of TV shows, like a lot, and I always get really like invested in them, so there's probably quite a few that I could say, but... I don't know, maybe like Seth and Summer from the OC, a bit of a classic one. Um, yeah, let's go for that, Seth and Summer. Um, question 9, favourite show? Again, as I just said, um, I watch a lot. Um, I think Breaking Bad would probably be one of my absolute favourites, but stuff like Parks and Recreation, The Office, USA, um, the Walking Dead, um, just so many things like oh, the Mindy Project. I really love the Mindy Project. Um, basically, if it's on TV or if it's on Netflix, I will watch it. It doesn't really matter what it is, I'll watch it. Um, favorite bands? Um, I'd say probably my all time favorite is Alkaline Trio. They were like a band that I really loved when I was like 14, 15, and um, <coughs> I've just never really grown out of it. I still love their music, um, still buy all their albums and I really like um, most of the guys in the band have done like solo projects and I really love them as well. So I'm just a little bit obsessed. Like all the other bands that I used to listen to like around that age I've kind of grown out of them all but this is the one that has remained forever. Um, something you miss. I guess being at university um, I sort of finished at the end of August and then graduated in November and now I'm like graduate job hunting which is not at all fun and I just I really want to go back to uni. I loved it, I loved learning, I loved the nights out, I just loved being a student and oh, I really want to go back and do a PhD but I don't think I will but I really want to. Um, question 12, favourite song? Oh, I've got so many. I don't think I could pick a single song. Um, it's too hard, it's too hard. Um, maybe Buried by Alkaline Trio, that's a really good song. I love it. Um, I don't know. No, it's too hard, I can't answer that question. Um, question 13, how old are you? I'm 23 now, which is a bit scary. That's basically almost mid-twenties, which is worrying. Um, 14 zodiac sign. I'm a Scorpio. My birthday is the 7th of November, so I'm a Scorpio. 15 quality look for in a partner. Um, I don't know, I guess just that they're nice and um, funny, you know, just a nice person. Um, 16 favorite quote. Um, I think it's from a poem called. The Astronomer's Pupil by Sarah Williams, I think. I'll have to check that. And um, the last like little stanza of it is, um, 
Though my soul may set in darkness, it will rise in perfect light. I have loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. And yeah, I just love that quote. Um, 17, favourite actor, it would have to be John Cusack. Um, I was like definitely obsessed with him when I was like 17. Um, mostly because of the film Say Anything, if you've ever seen that and you know the character Lloyd Dobler, then basically I'm just massively in love with that character and ever since then I've kind of just been a little bit obsessed with John Cusack and I've watched like basically every film that he's ever been in and I just love him a little bit even though he's a bit old and creepy looking now but late 80s John Cusack is like my ideal man. Um, 18 favourite colour? Um, I'd say probably pink like bright like hot pink um, or like kind of bright green like those two colours together I really like um, yeah I'd say pink. Um, 19 loud music or soft? Um, that just really depends on the situation um, although I'd probably sway towards soft because if I'm in like a bar or something the music's too loud I'm always like oh, why is it so noisy in here I can't even hear what anyone's saying so probably soft. Um, 20. Where do you go when you're sad? Um, probably just like my bed. <laughs> um, just like get in my bed, watch a sad film, have a little cry and go to sleep. That's really sad isn't it? Um, 21. How long does it take you to shower? Um, probably about 10 minutes. Like it doesn't really take me very long to have a shower but then it takes ages to like dry my hair afterwards and do my makeup and stuff like that. 22. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Um, I say probably like an hour, like if I have to leave the house at 9 o'clock I would make sure I was in the shower by 8. So I had enough time to like have a shower, dry my hair, do my makeup, get dressed, have breakfast. Probably about an hour, yeah. Um, 23. Ever been in a physical fight? <laughs> no, I have not. 24. Turn on. Um, I wouldn't say I'm <laughs> that fussy, really. Um, I suppose just having a good sense of humour and not being like a total like laddish lad, just being like, you know, a nice guy. Um, 25. Turn off. Um, being a horrible person, <laughs> um, I don't really know. reason I joined YouTube, well, I already had a blog and quite a lot of the bloggers I followed um, started sort of making YouTube channels and I liked watching their videos so I thought hmm, maybe I should do that so I did. 27 fears, um, well the obvious one is spiders. Um, I hate spiders, who doesn't? Um, but a slightly more weird one is like, I'm not sure if it's like a fear as such or more like a phobia, but people's veins just like they, oh, they make me feel like physically sick. Like if you can feel like a pulse in your neck or something, or if someone has like really veiny wrists, oh, it just creeps me out so much. I hate it. Like I can't, I can't look at them. Like if someone was dying and I had to take their pulse, I. Oh, I don't think I could do it, I just, ugh, ugh, no, I hate them. Um, 28, last thing that made you cry, um, I think it was actually an episode of How I Met Your Mother, um, which is really sad because it's not even, like, it, it's meant to be a comedy and I only started watching it, like, a couple of weeks ago and I'm, like, halfway through season three, I think, I'm, like, I don't really find it that funny, but... I don't know, I'm kind of getting a bit... I've watched too many episodes now to like give up. Um, but yeah, it's meant to be like a comedy and I don't think it's that funny, but I do find myself like crying at like half the episodes. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't think you're meant to find it sad, but <laughs> oh well. Um, last time you said you loved someone. Um, I honestly have no idea. It's not really something I say very often. Um, the meaning behind your YouTube name? Well, it's the same as my blog name, which 
Um, I, I, I wouldn't really say I chose, well obviously I did choose it because it's my blog name, but um, when I was making my blog I was just thinking for ages trying to like come up with a good name and I couldn't think of anything. But turns out I'd already registered like this name like the year before and totally forgotten about it, so I just used it anyway. Um, but it's from the like song title of um, a song by Beck, which funnily enough is called Elevator Music. Um, I don't really know why I chose it. It's not even like one of my favourite songs or anything. I think I don't know. It's just I thought it sounded quite cool, so just went for it. Um, last book you read? Um, the last book I read in full was I think it was called Ramshackle by I think it was Elizabeth the Reader. I might have just made that up, but it was definitely called Ramshackle, and it was really good. I really enjoyed it. But that was quite a few months ago. But I have just started reading another book, which is um, by John McGregor, who's one of my favourite authors, and. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Th this shouldn't happen to someone like you or something like that. I think it's called. Um, but it's like a book of short stories, and I only just started it like yesterday. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, last show you watched was um, How I Met Your Mother. Um, it's on Netflix, so just like usually in the evenings, I just sit and like play three or four episodes, just like as black black background noise. Has background noise, um, where the last person you talk to um, probably would have been my mum on the phone the other day. 35. The relationship between you and the last person you texted. I can't actually remember who it was, so I'll have to look. Um, it was Callum, who's my uh, old flatmate slash best friend. Um, 36. Favourite food? Um, I'm not really that picky when it comes to food, to be quite honest. Um, I'd say my favourite sort of cuisines are probably Thai and Mexican. I really like spicy food, but um, I don't know. I guess it just depends. I do love fajitas. Everyone loves fajitas. Yeah. Um, 37. Place you want to visit? I really, really want to go on a road trip across America, um, or maybe not across America, but like, I think probably East Coast, I'd like to do a road trip of the East Coast um, of America, but that would be so expensive and I can't drive and you'd have to take so much time off work, so it will probably never happen, but that would be like the dream holiday. Um, 38, last place you were. I don't really understand what this means. Last place you were. Um, I went to Scotland earlier to buy some food. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what that means. Um, 39, do you have a crush? Um, no, not really. Like, well, not a real life one, like. I suppose there's plenty of celebrities that I wouldn't say no to, but <laughs> nobody in real life. Um, 40. Last time you kissed someone? Um, an embarrassingly long time ago. I can't even remember who or when or where or... I have no idea. Um, 41. Last time you were insulted? Um, I don't really remember being particularly insulted recently. Um, I have no idea. Uh, 42 favorite flavor of sweet um strawberry or red flavor because sometimes red flavor is actually like raspberry or berry or something but it's always the red ones that I go for um 43 what instruments do you play I can play the piano I used to have lessons and um, stuff when I was younger I can play up to grade four or five four I think um yeah, I don't have a piano in my flat, so I don't really play anymore. Um, 44, favourite piece of jewellery. It's a necklace from Ginger Pickle, which is like two sort of um, metal triangles. Um, it's 
really nice. I, there should probably be an outfit post of it on my blog, so I'll link to it. Or I could just link to the um, website, that would probably make more sense. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice necklace and I wear it all the time. Um, 45, last sport you played. Oh my god, I don't, I can't even guess. I don't think I've played a sport since I left school, which was like six years ago or something, so <laughs> I have no idea. Um, last song you sang, um, I can't remember because I have this terrible habit of like whenever like a song comes on the TV or like on an advert or something, I'll just like sing along, like even if they don't have words, I will just like, like, like sing along to it without words. I don't know. Oh, it's terrible. And I'm not even a good singer, so I don't know why I do it, but <laughs> there you go. Um, favourite chat up line? I don't know. There's always those like really cringy ones, but I find them like kind of funny, so I don't know. There's loads. I can't think of any. I don't know. Have you ever used it? No, I have not. Um, I would really like someone to chat me up with a really cheesy chat up line. I would probably quite happily agree to go on a date with them if they did, but nobody actually seems to use chat up lines in real life, so that's disappointing. Um, 49, last time you hung out with anyone? Um, I guess it depends what you mean by hung out. I don't really know what that means. Um, if it just means like, being with your friends, I guess it would be uh, a couple of days ago when I went to the uh, Christmas market with um, Laura and Terry and Jen. Um, 50. Last question, who should do these questions next? Well, um, I think everyone who I would have tagged has either already done this video or has already been tagged, so I'm just going to use the easy option and say anyone who fancies doing this go forth and film. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed those useless questions which were actually not very TMI at all, but um, I hope you enjoyed re um, reading or listening to them. Anyway, and um, yeah, I shall hopefully see you in another video soon. Bye!